Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will tell you about the Molish test, means how Molish test is performed and also about its principle. Molish test is the general identification test for carbohydrate, means in any sample, if we want to detect the presence of carbohydrate in it, then we can do it by performing Molish test. So, first of all, Let's know about the procedure of Molish test. First, take a test tube and then add 2 ml of the test solution. Test solution means the solution in which we have to detect the presence of carbohydrate. Our sample is either in the solid or liquid state. If our sample is in the solid state, then we have to prepare the solution of solid in water means we have to prepare the aqua solution of the solid sample or alcoholic solution of it. After transferring 2 ml of the test solution to the test tube, then add 2 to 3 drops of Molish reagent. Molish reagent is the solution of alpha naphthol in alcohol, means about 10% of the alcoholic solution of alpha naphthol is prepared. And this solution is called Molish reagent. Molish reagent is prepared freshly to detect the presence of carbohydrate. Practical video of the Molish reagent preparation is already uploaded in our channel. You can also see the link of that video in the description box of this video. After adding Molish reagent, then shake the content of the test tube and then add 1 ml of the concentrated sulfuric acid with the help of pipette through the wall of the test tube. Means we have to add concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop with the help of pipette means drop passing through the wall of the test tube as you can see in the video. Completely transfer 1 ml of concentrated H2SO4 drop by drop in the test tube without disturbing the content of test tube so that two distinct layer formation takes place inside the test tube. After adding sulfuric acid in the test tube you can observe red to violet ring at the junction of two liquid. It means in our test solution, carbohydrate is present. And if no violet or purple color ring forms at the junction of two liquid, it means in our sample, carbohydrate is absent. So this is how we can detect the presence of carbohydrate in the sample by performing Molish test. Now, let's know the principle of Molish test. Molish test is used to identify almost all types of carbohydrate except tetrosis and triosis. Means carbohydrate in the free or combined form or any form of the carbohydrate if present in the sample then we can easily identify by performing Molish test. That's why this test is used routinely to detect carbohydrate. Then next what is the principle of this test? When we add concentrated sulfuric acid into the test solution, then dehydration of the carbohydrate takes place if it is present in the sample and then water molecule is released. And this dehydration reaction of the carbohydrate convert the carbohydrate into furfural compound. And if in the test solution panto sugar, panto sugar means 5 carbon containing sugar is present then after dehydration it convert into the furfural compound and if in our sample hexo sugar is present means 6 carbon containing sugar is present in the sample then after dehydration by the sulfuric acid it convert into the hydroxymethyl furfural compound and then this furfural compound condensed with the sulfonated alpha naphthol which is present in the Molish reagent and due to the condensation of this furfural and alpha naphthol in the test tube violet or purple color compound form in the form of ring which is observed at the junction of two liquid. So this is the principle of Molish test. Thank you very much for watching this video.